What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're talking about the one thing that I think every producer should have in the studio. Now, I realize that today's video topic is probably not gonna be the sexiest. Nonetheless, I still think it's extremely important. Now, when I first started to produce and I got my first laptop, my first machine for making beats and, and you know just recording, I used to store everything on my desktop. And for the time, it worked. But as things started to scale, I started to make more beats, be involved in more sessions. That quickly became an obsolete strategy for me, at which point I switched to external drives. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the importance of external hard drives and why I think every producer should own one or a couple and integrate them into their workflow. So the first reason why I think every producer should own a hard drive is because it reduces your computer's workload. Now, your computer already is reading and writing and managing all the programs that need to be on your startup disk AKA your computer's hard drive. Now, a lot of these programs, they range from your DAW to VSTs to maybe even video production and editing software like Premiere and Final Cut Pro. And a lot of times, these programs, they tax your computer really, really heavily. So the last thing that I would wanna do is put another weight on top of that, especially if I can avoid it. Now, being honest, you need an external drive just for this reason alone. Absolutely not. I've known a lot of people who, I don't know how, but they make it work with just their computer's hard drive. But as someone who's done both methods throughout the years, I've seen a difference in my computer's performance whenever I have dedicated drives for different things. Now, personally, I use four separate drives for everything that I'll do, but we'll talk about those more as we get towards the end of the video. But bringing it back to audio and music production, think of it this way. It's kind of like if you had only one person to make the beat, record the vocals, mix the track, and then master it. You'd probably be pretty exhausted at the end of that journey, as opposed to if you just had one person dedicated to making the beat, one person to record the vocals, one person to mix it, and one person to master it. Now with this method, you have a more balanced workload and it reduces the chances of mess ups or people getting burnt out at the end. All right, second reason why I think you need a hard drive is because it optimizes your computer storage. Now, quick story, and it's actually quite an embarrassing one. Up, up until maybe like a year or two ago, I didn't know that the closer you get to filling up the hard drive on your computer, the slower your computer will become. Now this can present a problem because we are already using programs that use a lot of our computer's power, so having less of it is not a good thing to have. Now on top of that, if you're using your computer's native hard drive for your one shots and your sessions and your loops, you leave less room for the things that actually need to be there, like your programs, your DAWs, and your VSTs. All right, last reason why I think every producer should use external drives is because it safeguards your files. Now, being honest, if the first two were luxury items, this is an absolute necessity. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the worst thing that could happen to me is if I were to wake up in the morning, I turn on my computer to you know, get a session going, get a beat going, and it didn't want to turn on. The worst, worst thing that could happen is if all my sessions, all my beats, all my loops and one shots and drum kits were in that computer that didn't want to turn on. I've heard multiple horror stories from other producer buddies who had this happen to them, exactly what I just illustrated. They woke up in the morning to get a beat going and their computer wouldn't turn on and they had everything in there. So for the sake of everything that is good, get an external hard drive, even if it's just to safeguard your files. Now, quick bonus tip, external drives are also super handy whenever they're paired with something like a laptop because now you have a super portable music production setup. If you need to meet up with a friend, a producer, and another artist in their city, then all you gotta do is throw your drives in your bag. On top of that, if you were to ever switch computers, maybe you wanna upgrade your system, all you gotta do is take your hard drives plug in the peripherals to your new computer and you're good to go. All right, now personally, what do I use here in the studio for my workflow? Well, I use four separate drives and they all have their individual purpose. Now, my main two drives are actually from Glyph. They are the Black Box Plus. And the first one is actually a two terabyte traditional disc spinning hard drive. Now this one I use for all my samples, all my drum kits, all my melodies, all my loops. I store everything there and I wanted to get one that was large enough that I wouldn't have to update you know, until a couple years down the road. So anything that I've acquired as far as like samples go and one shots go, I store in this drive. Now my second main drive is actually a 512 gigabyte SSD, again from Glyph, that I use to store all my sessions and beats. The reason why I decided to go with an SSD as opposed to a traditional disc spinning drive is that as opposed to a traditional drive, an SSD has no moving parts. So it makes it less susceptible to crashing and corrupting. Now the cool thing about these drives is that they're very rugged. They come in like this silicon bumper. So if you were to ever drop them for whatever reason, 
there's a higher chance that they would be protected as opposed to if you were just drop them with nothing on it. On top of that, they are USB power, so you don't need to be carrying an additional power block to make them work. And they come with a USB 2.0, 3.0, and a USB Type-C cable. So regardless of whatever device you're on, these should work well for you. Now, I also have a third drive. This one is a Western Digital My Passport. This one's an older version. I'm sure they have newer editions out on the market, but essentially this is a two terabyte traditional drive that I use to store all my media. So all of my YouTube videos, all of my banners, you know, social media graphics, anything that has to do with like media content, I store in this drive. And this is actually where I edit from. So I don't actually store any videos or any video content on my computer. And last but not least, we have a five terabyte Seagate desktop drive. Now, the first three drives that I showed you are actually portable drives. I can put them into my bag, and like I said, if I need to go to a friend's house or whatever, it makes it super easy, but the last drive, this here, is actually a desktop drive, and the reason being is because I only use it to back up. Now, like I said, I'm gonna talk more about backing up your drives in next week's video, but essentially, I back everything from my first three drives into this drive, either on a weekly or monthly basis. But essentially, that is it, guys. I use four drives in my everyday workflow, Two are my main drives for music, one is for media storage, and then the last one is for backup. Now, this is not a sponsored video, but if you're interested in any of the hard drives that I mentioned below, I'm gonna link everything down in the description box, but I wanna hear from you. What do you think about external drives? Do you think they're a studio essential? Do you think they're a waste of money? Let me know. And if you do use external drives, what does your current setup look like? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. But I will see you guys on the next one.